Hey, 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 y'all. Good morning, good morning. This is my reaction to that movie, Woman King. I know a lot of folks have been having all this supposed controversy about the movie, about has not telling the exact truth, blah, blah, all this kind of stuff. My main thing is so goddamn what? There's nothing in life that has told you the exact truth of anything. Not any school book you've ever read, not any college book you've ever read, not any... Um, teacher, not any professor, not any movie, not not anything else has showed you that either. So what difference do it make? But like I said, definitely my reaction to the movie was that it was a damn good movie. Like I said, regardless as to how much of it was true, how much of it was entertainment, whatever the case may be, my main thing, I don't care about the facts in the movie because whatever happened, happened. I wasn't there with the video recorded back in thousands of years ago, to, I guess, to record exactly what happened. You weren't there with the journal to write down exactly what happened or on scrolls or anything else. Nobody was. Nobody had a drone back then, of course. They weren't created so therefore like i said nobody's going to have the entire story of anything but i still love the movie the main thing i liked about it of course the main the main thing well there were several main things but the first was showing us black women of course that we can of course be warriors no matter what we're doing whether we're fighting for our community whether we're of course helping our community in some kind of way whether we're of course protecting the kids the men whoever it is like i said we definitely have a role in our communities and it's time for us to step up to get into that role it does not have to be a killer role like like it was in the movie that's fine but like i said those women were warriors they were the fighters of that community. They were the army, I guess you can say, of that community. They, they, they were the, the women warriors. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with that. They're, they're, the men were fighting too, of course. Um, but like I said, definitely, they were, they were the protectors of that entire community. And that's how women, by us black women, I can't say all women, but since I'm a black woman, us black women need to be. Like I said, that's where we've gotten away from, of course, taking care of our own communities. Like I said, that, that was something that stood out to me in that movie, not just the the woman in the warriorhood, but the woman and and also the men, everybody working together to make sure that that community and that and that um fact well that I guess section of women of course kept things going and running. It took everybody's um effort to of course like I said to make sure that they trained, to make sure that they had a place to stay, uh, all this kind of stuff. Like I said, definitely it just showed me that community is community, and that we of course like I said as black people have lost that along the way. So I can care less about what the hell these controversies, the uh, it ain't the real information, all this kind of stuff. I can care less about that. We do know that black over in Africa there was some black women who of course were warriors who was of course leading the community. Um, with the, the, the army services. I don't know how you want to put it. The warrior services to make sure that, that they kept their community safe. They, they weren't the, 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 the was it Dahomey wasn't the only women. There was other ones as well. But like I said, getting past all that, we, we don't know the whole story. The main thing we need to know from this movie is that black women can become warriors and we should be in our rightful place. And that community, of course, matters when it comes to our black people. That's what the hell we need to walk away with.